Cinema Synopses. Spoiler alert! The Asgardian Loki encounters the other, the leader of an extraterrestrial race known as the Chitari. I was a king. Betrayed. In exchange for retrieving the Tesseract, you don't have the Tesseract yet. A powerful energy source of unknown potential, the other promises Loki an army with which he can subjugate Earth. You will have your war as guardian. Nick Fury, director of the espionage agency Shield, and his lieutenant, Agent Maria Hill, arrive at a remote research facility during an evacuation. How bad is it? Where physicist Dr. Eric Selwig is leading a research team experimenting on the Tesseract. Tesseract is misbehaving. Agent Phil Coulson explains that the object has begun radiating an unusual form of energy. Dr. Selvig read an energy surge from the Tesseract. The Tesseract suddenly activates and opens a wormhole. There's a doorway to the other end of space, right? Allowing Loki to reach Earth. Sir, please put down the spear. Loki takes the Tesseract and uses his scepter to enslave Selwig and a couple of other agents, including Clint Barton. You have heart. To aid him in his getaway. In response to the attack, Fury reactivates the Avengers initiative. We need a response team. Agent Natasha Romanoff is sent to Calcutta to recruit Dr. Bruce Banner to trace the Tesseract through its gamma radiation emissions. There's no one that knows gamma radiation like you do. Coulson visits Tony Stark to have him review Selwig's research. This. A lot of and Fury approaches Steve Rogers with an assignment to retrieve the Tesseract. Hydra's secret weapon. You should have left it in the ocean. In Stuttgart, Barton steals iridium needed to stabilize the Tesseract's power, while Loki causes a distraction. I said, no! Leading to a brief confrontation with Rogers, Stark, and Romanoff that ends with Loki's surrender. Make a move, reindeer games. While Loki is being escorted to S.H.I.E.L.D., Thor, his adoptive brother, arrives and frees him. Stark, we need a plan of attack! I have a plan. Attack. Hoping to convince him to abandon his plan and return to Asgard. To give up this poisonous dream! You come home. After a confrontation with Stark and Rogers, he loves his hammer. You want me to put the hammer down? Thor agrees to take Loki to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s flying aircraft carrier, the Helicarrier. Are we done here? Upon arrival, Loki is imprisoned. Loki's of Asgard, and he's my brother. He killed 80 people in two days. He's adopted? while Banner and Stark attempt to locate the Tesseract. During this time, Stark tries to figure out how Banner controls his anger. What's your secret? Mellow jazz, bongo drums, huge bag of weed? The Avengers become divided, both over how to approach Loki and the revelation that S.H.I.E.L.D. plans to harness the Tesseract to develop weapons as a deterrent against hostile extraterrestrials. Phase two is S.H.I.E.L.D. uses the cube to make weapons. As the group and argues, Excuse me, did we come to your planet and blow stuff up? Barton and Loki's other possessed agents attack the helicarrier, disabling one of its engines in flight and causing Banner to transform into the Hulk. We're okay, right? Stark and Rogers work to restart the damaged engine, and Thor attempts to stop the Hulk's rampage. We are not your enemy's banner! Romanoff fights Barton and knocks him unconscious, breaking Loki's mind control. Yes. 
Loki escapes after killing Coulson and ejecting Thor from the airship. The humans think us immortal. Should we test that? While the Hulk falls to the ground after attacking a shield fighter jet, Fury uses Coulson's death to motivate the Avengers into working as a team. To fight the battles that we never could. Phil Coulson died still believing in that idea. Stark and Rogers realize that for Loki, simply defeating them will not be enough. He needs to overpower them publicly to validate himself as ruler of Earth. He wants to beat us, he wants to be seen doing it. Loki uses the Tesseract, in conjunction with a device Selwig built, to open a wormhole above Stark Tower to the Chitauri fleet in space, launching his invasion. The Chitauri are coming. Nothing will change that. Rogers, Stark, Romanoff, Barton, and Thor rally in defense of New York City, the wormhole's location. Stark, you see this? Seeing, still working on believing. Dr. Banner, now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. Banner arrives and transforms into the Hulk. Together, the Avengers battle the Chitauri while evacuating civilians. Find a tight corner. The Hulk finds Loki and beats him into submission. I am a god, you dull creature! Puny god. Romanoff makes her way to the wormhole generator, where Selwig, freed from Loki's mind control, reveals that Loki's scepter can be used to shut down the generator. It may be able to close the portal, and I'm looking right at it. Meanwhile, Fury's superiors from the World Security Council attempt to end the invasion by launching a nuclear missile at Midtown Manhattan. You have a missile headed straight for the city. Stark intercepts the missile and takes it through the wormhole toward the Chitauri fleet. Stark, you know that's a one-way trip. The missile detonates, destroying the Chitauri mothership and disabling their forces on Earth. Stark's suit runs out of power, and he falls back through the wormhole just as Romanoff closes it. Close it. Stark goes into freefall. He's not slowing down. But the Hulk saves him from crashing into the ground. In the aftermath, Thor returns Loki and the Tesseract to Asgard, while Fury expresses confidence that the Avengers will return if and when they are needed. They'll come back because we'll need them to. In a mid credit scene, the other confers with his master about the failed attack on Earth. To challenge them is to court death. In a post credit scene, there's a shawarma joint about two blocks from here. The Avengers eat in silence at a shawarma restaurant. Keep watching for some great Easter eggs from the Avengers movie. After Thor takes Loki off the Quinjet down on the mountainside, two large ravens fly by them as they are talking. In Norse mythology, Thor's father and Loki's blood brother, Odin, had two ravens, Hugin and Munin, who would bring Odin information from Midgard. There are two spoken references to the early Incredible Hulk comic books. When Captain America is giving orders, he says, And Hulk, <sighs> smash. A catchphrase uttered by the Hulk in the comics, as well as the Incredible Hulk. After the Hulk thrashes Loki, he says, Puny God. A reference to another oft repeated Hulk phrase, Puny Humans. Captain America finds Phase 2 weaponry in the secure storage area of the helicarrier, 
Those weapons are emblazoned with the Hydra logo. Tony Stark describes his group as Earth's Mightiest Heroes type thing. Yes. This refers to the famous tagline that has been featured on the cover of the Avengers comic books since its 1963 debut. The phrase was also used as the subtitle for the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes in 2010, the animated series which began airing one year prior to the live-action Avengers film. One of the cards in Agent Coulson's Captain America card set is a reproduction of Captain America's first comic book appearance, where he punches out Adolf Hitler. Right, better clench up, Legolas. Tony Stark casually refers to three of the other main characters, Loki, Thor, and Hawkeye, as either movie characters or movie titles. He calls Loki Reindeer Games, Thor Point Break, and Hawkeye Legolas. Stan Lee, the creator of such Marvel comics as the X-Men, Spider-Man, The Incredible Hulk, The Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Thor, and many others, is the old man being interviewed at the end of the New York battle montage who says, Superheroes in New York, Kimmy. And then returns to a game of chess with a fellow senior citizen. Loki's staff has a glowing blue gem in the spearhead that allows him to control the minds of others. This is a reference to the Mind Stone, one of the six Infinity Stones used by Thanos the Mad Titan, shown in the post credit scene. To challenge them is to court death. This line is a kind of inside joke, because the other literally means it is dangerous to fight the Avengers. But there is also a character named Death who is Thanos' love interest, whom he literally has courted. 